Hey there, Libra. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your reading, your tarot reading for the month of July of 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is so great to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, squad? All right, Libra, so check it out. General reading for the month of July. Yes, please keep in mind, it's a general reading. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, even though it's dated for the month of July, it is still a fairly timeless reading. So whenever you land on this and it's resonating for you, then that's the message for you in that moment. Yeah. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that uh, in limited quantities this month. Check out the information in the description box below. It lists all of my, all, well, most of the main options for readings that I offer, plus my email address. So check that out and send me an email if you'd like to get one with me. Also, I highly recommend that you guys check me out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Lots of great stuff going on over there. And as well, that link is in the description box below. As always, I highly recommend you guys to like, comment, subscribe. If you have not done so already, that will help you get a uh, first view as to what messages or what readings and what, uh, what videos are being posted on the channel. And as always, I always highly encourage you guys to leave me a comment down in the description box below, letting me know what's going on for you, how this resonated for you, yeah? This is Divine Conversations after all. Let's have a conversation about it. Okay, Libra, let's get into your pre-shuffle energies. Now, this is already feeling like a love reading for you, okay? Um, and what I'm getting is that you come to a realization or you find yourself in a position, Libra, in which you are recognizing or maybe questioning whether something is, if the relationship is balanced and reciprocal or not. And it seems like you've come to an understanding that it is not. Because what you have in your pre-shuffle is, is giving me energies that you are taking a leap of faith, even though, taking a leap of faith and moving on from the situation, either you're actively doing it or you're questioning whether or not you should. Um, and there's a lot of emotion involved with it. But that emotion doesn't have the heaviest weight in terms of the situation. So if you've been in a relationship with someone or like some sort of romantic or energetic bond with somebody for an extended amount of time, and in the past, your feelings or your emotions about the situation weighed heavier than the actual truth as to whether or not the situation was balanced or reciprocal. Well, now in this moment, the scales have turned, the tables have turned, and now the actual truth of whether this is reciprocal or not weighs heavier than your emotions. You have overall energy is the two of cups. Okay, there's more, but we'll get to that in a second. The cards that have officially come out for your pre-shuffle, six of pentacles, the fool, the Five of Cups, and the Lovers. And the Lovers is representing that choice for you, Libra, as to what would serve your highest good or not. Now, in the overall energy at the bottom of the deck, we're starting you with the Two of Cups, okay? So this is the representation of that physical relationship or that bond that you have with this physical being. Underneath the Two of Cups, Libra, is the Ten of Wands, okay? So I really do feel like you're either starting to become aware of or you are aware of or the oh by the way you guys it's starting to rain and there is thunder in the background so it might get a little crazy for the next few moments but anyway what's coming into focus for you in terms of this relationship right now libra is the fact that the situation is burdensome regardless as to why i mean define that for yourself everybody's situation is different but the situation is burdensome and you're needing to strike a balance within yourself temperance you're being called to strike this balance uh judgment is underneath temperance, okay? You are being called to find a sense of balance, union, and harmony within yourself to make a decision that comes, that, that is in, in alignment with your highest good, okay? And it seems like, Libra, your highest good lies in taking a leap of faith and leaving this situation behind. Underneath judgment here, you do have the Page of Pentacles to the world and the Eight of Cups. So you're really being guided to recognize or at least i feel like overall the overall energy of this situation for you right now is leading you towards waking up and getting out of this situation completing it walking away okay completing the situation and walking away or completing the situation by walking away okay libra 
I would say that that is a really good energy for you to start off with, even though I understand it's a little bit of a difficult choice to make because of the emotions that are involved with that Five of Cups energy. But quite frankly, Libra, I feel like, yeah, look, there's the Five of Cups again. But I feel like I'm glad this came back out because I wanted to talk about this. I feel like you are less focused on these three cups of spilled emotions or whatever it is you seem to be uh, or you not seem to be, you are, whatever it is you're losing here, you're more focused on the two of cups, which would represent the balance and the union and the harmony within yourself, okay? You're more focused on how free you could be or what it is you could be moving towards in the future with this toxic energy cleared out of your space. Yeah, I'm going to take that. You have the, the hanged man here now and the five of swords. So you've been in this energy for a hot minute. And it's been destructive all along. You didn't, you maybe didn't realize it at first, but as time started to go on, more, more and more of the destructive elements of this, this relationship became more and more apparent to you. But then you were kind of engaging with this Five of Swords energy yourself by trying, oh shit, I just remembered that I have laundry out there. Okay, let me finish this first and then I'll get it. But um, you were engaging with this Five of Swords energy by staying in this relationship, by keeping with it. But now you've reached the change in perspective that is saying to you, well, hold on, I don't need to be fighting for this any longer. So you're effectively putting your sword down and walking away. I know, Orion, hold on a second, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry you guys. Ooh, I'm wet. Um, yeah, so the Hanged Man and the Five of Swords, and then underneath at the bottom of the deck you do have the Ten of Cups. All right, so you're more, you're more focused on happiness. You have the Ten of Cups, so this actually could be your family. You could be really in, you're, you might be in a mode right now where it's like, you know what, I'm just trying to provide for my family right now. I'm just trying to keep people around me that are family. You know what I mean? We're a community, we're a group, we're tight-knit, like we got each other's backs like that. That's what you're trying to focus on. The Ten of Cups with the Two of Pentacles, okay? And you're in a, you're in a deciding phase right now, Libra, where you're weighing what's really beneficial to you and what helps you keep your sense of family unit together if that, is an op if that is a thing for you and what is not, okay? And if it's not family for you, then the Ten of Cups represents your emotional fulfillment, your ultimate emotional fulfillment. You're very much focused on that right now. And anything that does not fit with your emotional fulfillment does not get a say. Beautiful, Libra. All right. I'm going to give this five shuffles for you, and then we're going to see what we have for the rest of your month. Yeah? One. For my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2021, please definitely check, make sure to check your Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yeah? Even Venus if you're looking for love. This is two. This is a three skills. For my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for July of 2021. Messages for Libra, please. This is four. And this is five. All right, Libra. Let's get into this here. Cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Libra. Well, shit. There you are. Justice. Enough said. I mean, it just just in terms of what we've been talking about, uh, just in the pre-shuffle up until now, enough said. Justice. Boop! Oh, yes! To the Queen of Wands. To the Moon. And then the Seven of Wands. So there are some people, maybe there is one person, maybe this relationship, this romantic situation that you have going on here, or just circumstances around you that are really trying to lay it on thick with the illusion. But you are too much in your own sense of alignment, Libra, to let that illusion stop you or stand in your way. Not only do you have the justice card here, which is translating actually into uh, an effect, an, a, an effect that the universe is able to bring into to, it, to play into your life because of your alignment with yourself. Okay, but you're also bringing that sense of justice into your life by being in this alignment, right? But then also, you're not letting anything stop you. Again, Seven of Wands, underneath that is the Ten of Cups. You are more, you are more focused, Libra, on your emotional fulfillment and maybe even the fulfillment of, the, your, of, of your family 
of your unit, then you are even close to being focused on trying to work with this illusionary shit. Like, no, 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 no. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't doing that, okay? <laughs> I love this, Libra. Thunder. All right. Getting into the first half and the second half of your reading, yes? So the first half is going to look at the past, up, past energies up until the current moment. And again, this current moment doesn't necessarily have to be only in July of 2021. This could be whenever you land on this reading, right? So from the past to the current moment, that's your first half. The second half of your reading is going to go from the current moment off into the past. Yes? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies, Libra, for your first half of your reading is the Three of Wands. Very focused on your path, and specifically for you, Libra, what the Three of Wands is representing is you bringing into view the momentum you have going and where it is you want to be going, you're right? Your path, your direction, what, what you have in your sights. And specifically, you are asking questions in terms of, well, I know I'm going this way, I know I want this. Does what this person or what this situation, whatever they're bringing at me, does this fit? Is this in alignment with where I'm going? Because it's not, if not, it's getting the old snip snip, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Three of Wands is coupled with the sun, Libra. Okay. Your path is illuminated. I feel like at this point in your life, you are so much clearer on what it is you want to work towards, what it is you want to continue giving your time, your energy into, what it is you want to continue um um, cultivating momentum towards and what you don't. Even if you don't exactly know, like you don't need to see 100% the final destination, but what you do need to be aware of or what you need to be perceptive of is the feeling around it, okay? And what it is you intend to create. Not necessarily how it's finally going to turn out. No. But what it is you intend to create, where it is you intend to go, okay? And that is very, very clear for you. So in terms of some sort of romantic relationship, yes, things may have been murky. Oh my God, I just realized, look, you have the sun and the moon, all right? So things may have been mercury, mer mercury, mercury in retrograde may have had, an op uh, had something to do with this. Anyway, things may have been murky and pretty illusion-based, illusionary, right? In the past, not anymore, not anymore. You have, in terms of the past energy up until this current moment, you have gained the clarity that you need to keep you moving forward in the right direction for yourself. I love this, Libra. Your second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading. Okay, enough said, Eight of Cups. Boop, walking away. And, and I've had this song stuck in my head all day um, just because it's one of my favorites and I'm kind of vibing with it on myself. And I'll, okay, well, that makes sense because in terms of my progressive chart, my, le my moon is now in Libra right at the moment, but um, at least at, as of the moment that I'm recording this video. But um, it's one of Dua Lipa's songs. Um, don't start now. If you don't want to see me dancing with somebody, right? Don't show up. Don't come out. Don't start caring about me now, right? Walk away. You damn sure do know how, don't you? Saying that to that motherfucker. You know, you know how to walk away. So good, right? You got that shit on lock. So why don't you just keep walking? Because I'm done with this. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is coupled with the King of Pentacles, Libra? You better do it, babe. Because you know why? The King of Pentacles is representing you, your solid foundation in who you are and what it is you are trying to achieve. This is also a level of you being a provider to your community or to your family, if that resonates for you. Like you being head of household, maybe. King of Pentacles, okay? Ain't got time for this shit. I've got too much to handle, too much on my plate. And no, don't get it twisted. I'm not complaining. But I am coming at you six ways sideways because I don't need this shit. Get the fuck out of here. I am coming at you out, out of pocket right now because you're pissing me off. Yo, you better do it, Libra. I ain't even mad at you. <laughs> I am not mad at you at all. Do it. Get that queen, queen of Wands alignment in check. Do that shit, boo. Uh, 
Your challenge in the first half of your reading, Libra, is the Six of Cups, the past. All right. Yes, and memories of the past. I do, look, 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 Libra. I understand that you're getting to the point where you're ready to walk away, but that does not mean that you're emotionless. That does not mean that you're heartless. That does not mean that the past didn't have or doesn't still have strong meaning for you. But at this point, I don't feel like the past has, uh, has um, control over your heart like it does, like it did. Uh, okay, it doesn't have control over your heart now like it did before. There we go. The Six of Cups. Uh, oh, wait, before I go any further, also, I do feel a level of somebody trying to come at you, bringing up the past, reminding you of the good old days and all that shit. Don't take the bait. Don't take the bait. Because with this moon energy in your overall energy, plus the sun that is now in your 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 uh, surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, in terms of the past, man, you see very clearly what that past meant or what that situation meant or what that relationship meant. You see that br bright and clear as day, boo. Okay? Don't let the past rope you back in. The Six of Cups is coupled with... There it is. There it is. I love it when the Tarot does this shit. The devil. You know just how toxic that situation was. Don't let yourself fall back into it. Not to say that you're really at that much risk of doing it, but of course anything is possible. And even if it does, even if you slip just a little bit, and yes, I'm talking to you, you know exactly who you know exactly who you are, you know exactly who I'm talking to. Even if you do slip just a little bit, bitch, don't even go there. Stop beating yourself up about it. Okay? It's not a big deal. Because think about it this way. I'm sorry, I'm having <laughs> I'm truly, um, this is a friend of mine, and I'm really trying not to call you out your name right here. <laughs> I did literally just have to stop myself from saying your name. But, but it feels like, and still, we're still talking general, even though I know this is going to resonate with one of my friends. But, and we're still talking general here. But also, this is Libra energy, okay? You guys are very unconditionally loving, and you have a hard time sometimes distinguishing what's right for you over what's right for others and making the right decision there in terms of yourself. Okay, I get that. That's Libra energy. It's natural. But you are so well-rooted, it feels like, in this trajectory, in how you want to move forward in your life, that even if there is a tiny little slip here and there, it's really not going to affect your, 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 um, your momentum, at, if at all. You know what I mean? I love you. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Libra, in the first half of your reading. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, you're going to the King of Wands now. Can't nobody touch you. Can nobody touch you. Yeah, look. A snowflake has a better chance in hell. Okay. Just saying. Just reading the energies here. Don't shoot the messenger. The King of Wands is coupled with the star. Because you see, this is exactly what I was just saying, Libra. You are so well-rooted in this trajectory, in this direction for your life, that nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. King of Wands, ain't nobody gonna tell him he cannot do anything. Ain't nobody gonna, gonna sway him off of what he has in his line of vision, what, he is, what his target is. Ain't nobody gonna stop him. Your wish fulfillment, your ultimate goal, and maybe just healing is what's in your, the forefront of your mind. Ain't nobody gonna stop you now. I love this, Libra. I really do. Okay. Let's get into the second half of your reading here, yeah? So we're looking at the current moment off into the future. First set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, is the Two of Wands. Decisions. But thinking about it in terms of the current energy moving off into the future, what I heard was you've already made this decision. The decision has been made. And recognize that this Two of Wands is falling on the Three of Wands, which was in the first half of your reading. And now we're getting into the second half. You've made your decision. Stick with it. Two of Wands is coupled with the Five of Cups. Yes. Okay. Yes. You've made your decision. And, un 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 and unfortunately, Libra, there's some sorrow involved. Like I said... The past may have been toxic, 
but that doesn't mean it doesn't have a special place in your heart. Nor should, it doesn't mean that it shouldn't either. Like, that is human, okay? Like, don't get it twisted. That is a human thing. Like, you're, that is, you're allowed, you're allowed to look back on that and say, damn, you know, there was a hot second where that was the shit. Yo, that was the tits, that was everything. Like, I lived for that in the moment. But that's no longer this moment. And I have got to move forward. And yes, I may have to grieve a little bit, but you know what? I made my decision and I'm sticking with it. Do you hear all that rain, Libra? Cleansing waters. The second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the second half of your reading, you have, yeah, all right, the three of swords, okay. But you, I, I do want to say, you sure learned from this heartbreak, didn't you? No, 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 Libra. Come on now. Be honest with yourself. You learned from this. You have every right to hold that as a badge of honor, okay? Do not fall into some martyrdom syndrome thinking, oh, well, you know, you know a lot of people got hurt. So what? That's life. Shit happens. You learned from it. Honor that, okay? Three of Swords is coupled with... Thank you! The Six of Swords, you are, in fact, moving on, moving away from heartbreak, Libra. Take advantage of that. Own that. This is a victory. And yes, this victory comes with sacrifice, but what are you sacrificing? Pain and heartbreak. I think that's a worthy sacrifice, don't you? <laughs> your challenge, Libra, in the second half of your reading, the chariot. Holding your trajectory, yeah, because that's falling on the devil, which is in the the devil and the six of cups, which is the, the which was in the challenge of the first half of your reading. So your challenge here in the second half of your reading is maintaining your sense of balance and harmonious union within that is allowing you the momentum and the speed even to move forward. Okay? Hold on to that. The chariot is coupled with all right, the nine of swords. So okay, moving looking off into the future. Some of you, some of you may be like, oh my God, is this the right thing? I know somebody's getting hurt here and God, I don't like that. I don't want people to get hurt, but I need to move forward. What the fuck do I do? Am I doing the right thing? Of course you're doing the right thing, Libra. Because the action that you are taking here is coming from a sense of balance and union and harmony within. All right. So anything that may be any sort of like fears that are coming up, it's completely 100% illusion. It's that devil energy trying to rope you back in. Don't let it happen, Libra, okay? Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you in the second half of your reading? The Two of Pentacles. So moving forward in your life, yes, you're going to have to deal with some emotional aspects, but really you just need to maintain the balance here. Remember the decision that you made, remember the past, all right, remember what, remember it for what it's worth, okay? Remember the lessons that you learned and just keep on working on keep that balance. I do feel like even though this is the Two of Pentacles, this has an emotional aspect to it, okay? Two of Pentacles is coupled with strength. I couldn't have said it better myself, Terrell or Spirit, thank you. Like, just as you're moving forward, hold the strength to keep things in balance for yourself and for your family, if that's an aspect for you, okay? All right. But I love this, Libra. This is a really excellent reading. Let's close this out. Gaia? No, something different, okay. Crystal Mandala, all right. We're gonna close this reading out for you, Libra, with the Crystal Mandala deck, yes? All right. Five shuffles for you, Libra. One. Let me not do that over there. <laughs> this is two. I was doing this right where my sage is, and there's a bunch of ashes, and I was watching the ashes fly everywhere I was, I was shuffling. Yeah, not a good idea. <laughs> this is two. For my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, for this, uh, for this message, please. Closing guidance, please. Spirit, this is three. This is four. And this is five. All right, Libra. Closing Oracle guidance, please. The spirit for my Libras for this message. It's raining real hard, you guys. And it's beautiful. Oh, there it is. 
Excellent. You have card number 36, Ascended Master Mataji and Crimson Cooperite. Relief and Repair. All right. We bring you the blessing of relief and repair. Our warmth and nurturing will restore and rebalance your body, mind, and soul when the light of spirit burns too brightly. Spiritual light is like the light of the sun. It brings life and joy, but too much can burn. Spiritual light is like, I'm sorry, uh, if that happens to you, you will feel overwhelmed, overheated, overexcited, or overstretched mentally, physically, or emotionally. You will help you, we will help you recover and increase your ability to be exposed to spiritual light again in future without becoming overloaded or burnt out. We ask you to soften and relax into our rich red energy now, which nurtures you with the cooling, restorative life force of the Earth Mother. We shall help you naturally discharge excess energy whilst we revive strengthen and fortify you with our nurturing grace all right there you have it libra i'm gonna leave it there before i lose my voice trying to talk over all this rain yeah i love you guys so much i hope this was helpful for you again if you would like a personal reading with me check out the description box below also check out patreon patreon.com slash divine conversations but with that said i hope you guys have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the, uh, uh, very, very soon. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Take care. Bye.